All right, we're gonna do a quick video. This is on a Red Garland line that I picked up. And I think um, you can use it in a regular 251 setting, but it has the flat five. So if you take 251, uh, like G minor, and, and this is the line, it starts, it would start on F sometimes, and sometimes on E. Right away, if you know Red Garland, this is this is familiar to you. You do it on E, this is what it sounds like on E. Right? So it's two five is one, two, two beats each. G minor seven, C seven, F seven. So you, F major, so yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two. Sorry I'm holding this. I'm, I'm about to head out of the house. I thought this was this was cool to show. So And it starts there. It starts on E. And then you go up to the flat five. Then, then to the, the five of F. You can also start on F. You know what I'm saying? That's in, that's in B flat major. Here's, here's in uh, A flat. And you can kind of... Uh, uh, I gotta think about my fingering. So... Uh, now when you listen to Red Garland, what I want you to do is I want you to listen for that lick. This is not meant to be like taking in all the keys. That's good for your ears. But what's really good for your ears is starting to identify these, um, the, these certain ways that these great musicians get around these changes. So good luck with that and I'll talk to you soon.